Hey everybody, J Myers here from the Downtown Miniplex Theater. Welcome to my first episode of my show, Squeaky Reviews, where I share my thoughts on different movies and TV shows. Man, oh man, I am so thrilled to be here. I hope you are too. Today, on our first review, I'm going to be talking about a certain film that came out a little late in 2019. A certain film that people have been discussing for some time now. That's right. I'm going to give you a review on the movie Cats. This is some bullshit. <laughs> Sorry about my, uh, <laughs> that, uh, my language. I was just a little surprised that, um, I was getting tickets to go see this. Flick. It almost kind of feels like a, like some cruel sick joke. No, 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 no. Uh, I have a job to do. Am I say I'm going to deliver? I said I'm going to deliver. So, here is my review of the film Cats. This was not in my contract. All right, all right, so before I begin, I'm gonna let down of how my show operates. I'll first talk a little bit about the story, then I'll give you some fun facts about the flick, you know, the little uh, behind the scenes stuff. Then I'll tell you what's good, which I call the Gouda. <laughs> Get it? Get it, Gouda? And what's bad, which I call CM'd, which means Kasumarzu, which is like the, you know, the nastiest cheese of all. Yeah, you know, it seemed bad. Then that leads to the final verdict. So, the story. Yeah, well, it's a story about cats. What else can I say? It takes place in the city of London, and it follows a group of cats called the Jellicle Cats. We actually follow a character named Victoria, who is a cat who has just been put on the streets. As we kind of see in her point of view, of the tribe of cats. Yeah, it's mostly just an introduction of each different cats, who later on in the film are wanting to be selected at the Jellico Ball. They'll be selected by their leader, Old Deuteronomy, to be chosen to being, uh, from the looks of it, abducted up to the space so that they can die and then reincarnate into something else. Why are cats so weird? Why? Why are cats so weird? Why? The key characters in the story include Victoria, Old Deuteronomy, the villain McCavity, and Grizabella. I'll talk more about them in a minute. But now, let's jump on to the facts. The movie Cats is based on the stage version Cats, which is one of the fourth longest running shows in Broadway history and the sixth longest running show in London's West End. But the whole concept is actually based off a T.S. Eliot's book, Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. This film was actually wasn't the first attempt at making a film based on Cats and Musical. Emblemations, which was owned by my boy Steven Spielberg, we're actually planning on making an animated film during the 90s. However though, that concept was abandoned right after the studio shut down. Now why I don't think too fondly on these creatures, which by the way is not racism because they're not a race, they're a species, so yeah, take that. I would say an animated film would be a lot better than putting CGI fur on real life actors. And speaking of the production, in two days after its release, Universal Productions actually announced that they will be releasing a new version with updated CGI. Musical legend Andrew Lloyd Webber is behind the music of Cats, as well as other musicals including Jesus Christ Superstar, Abita, Joseph and the Amazing Color Technicolor Dreamcoat, and The Phantom of the Opera, which all became films. Award-winning actress Judy Dench who was casted as Old Deuteronomy, was actually casted in the original Broadway version of Cats, 
with dual roles of Jenny Anydots in Grisabella. She was then later replaced by Ellen Page at the last minute due to some injuries. Did you know that Rebel Wilson, who plays Jenny Anydots, is actually allergic to cats? Taylor Swift, who plays that sexy cat trying to drug all the other cats with that catnip, has stated that each cast member had to attend a cat school for preparation. And for the final fact, the trailer for Cats has gotten all dislikes on YouTube. News sites like Nerdist News have stated that the teaser trailer felt more like a terrifying horror film, almost similar to It Chapter 2, which was actually a horror film. So, after talking about the facts, it's time to jump into this deep, spiraling hole known as cats. What's the good and what's the bad? So, the good -a. But what's the good -a on this film? Well, uh, surprisingly, there actually were a couple of things that I like. Couple of things. To start, the setting actually looks kind of nice. The staging and the backgrounds actually look very vibrant and colorful. It looks like a role you actually want to be in. I also like the fact too that all the characters get to like play around with all these props. I mean, they're pretty much just giant objects, but you can tell that the actors were having fun with it. Another thing I liked was the choreography. It ranged from being exciting and energetic to something sweeping and graceful. Francesca Hayward, who plays Victoria, was actually really great in this. She was very beautiful and stunning. And speaking of cast, they were bad. A lot of war winning actors like Judy Dench and Jennifer Hudson, they put their all into it. Hell, especially for Grizabella's character. She was crying so much, even tears were coming out of her nose. I actually liked the music too. There was actually some songs that are at the top on my list. That included Rumble Shimble Shank Chala Shala Shank 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 Shanks. The Railroad Cat. It was very fun, very energetic. Love the tap dancing scenes. And of course, it all involves trains. And, you know, I like trains. Another good one was McCavity. A nice little jazzy theme played by sexy cat herself, Taylor Swift. Then there comes the iconic song from the whole franchise, Memories. Deborah Hudson did put all into this song. You really do feel the emotions, the pain and everything with this music number. It almost made tears come out of my nose. It's a heartfelt musical number that really touches your soul, you know? But that's not my top pick. My favorite song in this film was The Magical Mr. Mistopheles. Look, I mean, memory is great and all, but, but this song was all about my, actually my favorite character, Mr. Mistopheles. I don't know, I guess I'm just a sucker of the lovable loser type who ends up kind of succeeding at the end. And seeing him slowly but surely gaining confidence is able to perform this really big musical number with his magical act. That was pretty nice. I'm also kind of a sucker for a little bit of uh, shipping. What can I say? I thought the whole thing with him and uh, Victoria was actually kind of cute. <laughs> it actually made me want to make my own little fan art of them. I'm a mouse with many talents. So I know I've been jabbering on about the good stuff about this film, but uh, <laughs> the bad stuff is gonna be a lot longer. Strap you in folks, because here are the CMs of Cats. I mentioned before how I like the backgrounds as well as the props in this movie. But when it comes down to the costumes, quote unquote, costumes it just looks so jarly Ugh! the whole cgi fur thing is just completely weird and it just doesn't work just because you can't do something doesn't mean you should do it and this is a good example now when you see the characters far away it doesn't look too bad but when you get up close it just doesn't work at all but now i'm starting to think what's even worse them wearing CGI fur, or them wearing fur coats. I mean, why are they wearing fur coats? 
Jenny Any Dots, Rum Tum Tugger, Old Deuteronomy, and McCavity are really good examples. I mean, they're wearing it and then they just take it off. I know they par their, like, you know, fur body costume. And plus, not like that, but is it like a fur from another animal? Is it a fur from another cat? I mean, what is going on? And going back to the CGI, one of the most jarring things, too, is that it's not just cats that are in this film, but apparently there's also cockroaches and mice, which I believe they're all played by children. And they, just like the cats, have, like, human faces on them. I think even one of them gets eaten alive by one of the characters, and it's just, it just, it was terrifying. And let me jump back to the characters. I know I said some good things about some of them, but there's a couple of them that really stand out. And that includes Jenny Any Dots, which is Rebel Wilson playing Rebel Wilson, but in a cat costume. And James Corden, who plays Bustopher Jones, I believe. I always call him Fat Cat. But yeah, it's just, you know, James Corden playing James Corden. And to me, what kind of ruins the whole character and all the lines is when they ad-lib and do their shtick because it just takes me out of the movie. And the puns, oh my god. The puns, don't get me started with the puns. It's just cringeworthy. In fact, pretty much everything in this film was very cringeworthy. I mean, I hate to see someone so cool like Jason Derulo be turned into this. Well, you could have been that. And Idris Elba? I mean, come on! He was already cast as a cat, and that was pretty cool in that role. Even though he was a cat. But this, though, was just weird. Not to mention the fact that he's just walking around with, like, <laughs> pretty much naked. Look at him. He looks completely naked. Can someone give him a fur coat? Jennifer Hudson? Yeah, I think her new role is going to be a lot, a lot better than this one. And Taylor Swift, she may be, uh, pretty fine for a filthy feline. But I felt like there's just, ugh, nothing to her character. No one really has much of a character. Most of them are just introductions. And who are the pirates? Like, like, who are they? They're not part of the Jellicle Cats? Like, what is this whole universe? Explain to me! Explain! At the end, it was also really weird too. I know I keep saying weird a lot, but in the end, spoilers, after uh, Grizabella gets chosen and she's flowing off in her air balloon to space heaven, it cuts to the cats all sitting at the statue and old Deuteronomy, some, for some reason, just looks at the camera and then she starts talking to the people. Like, just tells them, you know, everything about cats, how dogs are terrible and that you should get a cat and that you should treat a cat like royalty because, you know, they're cats. She's making me not like cats even more. And just goes on and on and on. Just please, end. End the movie. And it's not a best thing for an audience member to say about your film. I mean, in the end... You should want your film to invite the viewers back again. So they'll have such a big impact, they'll want to see more of it. And possibly buy your DVDs and Blu-rays. You know, just saying. But, no, this film just drags. Like a heavy sack of rotten cheese. It's not perfect. Definitely not perfect. It just has something in there, you know? It's... Is a film that Hollywood wanted to make in terms of celebrating the musicals, you know, in past time. And, you know, they did try. It is an underdog of a movie, and for that I can, you know, it really does touch me. I highly recommend this film. It's a good work of art. And everything I'm telling you right now is a lie. This film sucks. It is bad. It is it is bad. I know I said some good things about it, but all the negative things just override it. I mean, honestly, in the end, I really can't recommend this to film goers out there. 
But on the other hand, I also can't recommend it to musical goers out there. If you really want to see a good film adaptation of Cats, I recommend the 1998 film. It's filmed on stage with some special effects added to it. But other than that, it's pretty much like the Broadway musical, but it's a lot more better. The story, the visuals, and definitely the costumes has a lot more appeal and charm compared to this film. I recommend checking that out on YouTube or anyone else online. Even if you got a little bit of moxie in you, I recommend telling Hollywood to go ahead and make that animated film of Cats. I might hate Cats and Cats might hate me, but at the very least watching a Disney-fied CGI animated film is leaps and bounds better than this mess. So for that, I'm putting this movie where it belongs. In the kitty litter. So, did you see Cats? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Tell me what you think about it in the comment section. And while you're down there, let us know what you think about us. Did you like us? Did you not like us? Did you love us? Let us know. And if you'd like to see more content, please subscribe. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Or a, a pause up. Well, I'll see you next time for the next premiere. I'll catch you guys real soon. And until then, stay squeaky. Bam. Magical Mr. Mistopheles.